the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, have you checked your food today? Come on now. What fruit are we talking about? Well, let's go ahead and see what fruit we're talking about. We're talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked your Holy Spirit fruits today? Galatians, we remind ourselves in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which means patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which means faithfulness, meekness, Temperance would mean self-control against such there is no law. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you focused on those things that, that you need to, to, to conform to the image of God, the image of His Son? See, most people would sit there and image it. Like I said, it's not based on outward appearance. It's based on the inward. It's based on things that people can sense around you, being somebody who cares and loves one another, somebody who operates in peace because they enjoy the Lord, right? It's our strength, the Lord peace that passes all our understanding because we know it's in Him. If we abide in Him, He's going to bring us through. With these characteristics, based on the of the Holy Spirit, needs to be manifested and cultivated in our life daily. See, therefore, when you work, you don't have to worry about the fact that the people see you going into church and say, oh, that's a Christian, but oh, when he comes out, I act like a fool. Because you're saying, that, oh, I go in there bearing fruit and I walk out bearing fruit. Huh? I go into prayer and it will bear fruit. I'm coming out of prayer bearing fruit. Have you checked your fruit today as a Christian? I'm telling you, as a Christian. Because we need the Holy Spirit to have a bear this fruit, these characteristics. We want to operate in love to one another. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what people are looking for to do. You can't be an effective witness if you don't bear fruit. But God says, work on it, cultivate it. Let the Holy Spirit, He's the one that's going to teach us. I'm just making sure I remind you, that's what He called us to do, to preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. And go to this, let's go and say, let's go into the uh, meekness. A lot of people sit there and think meekness is weakness, huh? Because they think that the best way you're supposed to show yourself is I'm bad, I'm bad, you know. I remember that movie called Stir Crazy with Richard Fryer and uh, uh, Gene Wilder, I think it was. And, and, and they, they went into the prison, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. So that the people, they figured that that'll keep you off their back, but it still didn't sit there and fight. Even if people think they're bad, always gotta fight somebody just to prove something, huh? But meekness does not mean weakness. I put a damn scripture, you see, I put a title, meekness equals submissiveness. And not submissiveness so much to people, but to God. That's what we want to be submitted to. That's what we want to be a discipleship to a God through Jesus Christ and believe in the Holy Spirit. Being submissive to the Holy Spirit. Allow him to lead us and guide us. But the Bible says, he who are led by the Spirit of God are called the children of God. Submit to his will, submit to his dealing, and guarantee you everything you do while you're doing and being submitted to God. If it does not line up with the characteristics, then you need to question yourself. And check your fruit today. Also, it means humility or humble. I like this part. I want to bring this part up to you in this. Let me take this off for a second. I want to you to see me fully. I like that part about humility or being humble. Sometimes as believers, we operate, or, or at least it appears sometimes, we operate in pride and boldness. But, you, but in reality, the reason why we have mercy towards somebody else is because mercy was given to us. We, we have grace towards somebody else because we have grace given to us. We're supposed to be humble. We're supposed to be submissive to the Holy Spirit. And we're supposed to be humble. In fact, is that like I didn't earn it. I didn't earn being Christian. I didn't earn being good, righteous, or whatever you want to call it. I didn't earn it. He did. 
And I'm not even cultivating based on my ability, but his ability. It's his characteristics is coming. And I'm allowing myself to get out of the way and let the Holy Spirit have his way. And that's what God is looking for. Have you checked your fruit today? Are you showing the, the meekness in your life? I said weakness. You know, one thing we brought up before, when Jesus was taken and arrested, he never said, you know, saw him to them, said a mumbling word. He didn't cower to those people. He said, I laid down my life and I'll take it up again. He did not ask you to be a coward. Stand firm in the midst of all types of situations. But at the same time, being humble, knowing the only one who can get me out of this is God, not people. All right? So check that out. Have you checked your fruits today? Have you all those fruits we've been talking about, all those characteristics, have you checked them? Because that's what God is looking for us to do. And the fact is, you know why it's so important to be in meek? And look at these scriptures here. And Numbers 12, 3, 12, 3 says, Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Come on now. Now, some of y'all want to study Moses. Moses sometimes got mad. Moses, Moses uh, got into battles, or he led battles when he went into the promised land. Hey, Moses, one time, uh, when he was, before he encountered God, he, he, had, he killed a man. Thought he could deliver Israel on his own flesh, and he'll kill a man. And then fled Egypt, because he was a fugitive. Huh? And then he was up in the mountains, and then he was content. And he didn't want to go back out there, but God sent him back out there. So I'm just saying is Moses for battles. Moses doesn't so doesn't doesn't being meek doesn't mean being weak. It just means submissive to God, which Moses was, and humble, knowing that it was God's power, not his. Look at some of the scriptures here in uh, Psalms 22, 26. The meek, come on there, y'all look at this. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your hearts shall live forever. I don't know about you. I think that sounds pretty good, right? Psalm 25, 9. The meek will he guide in judgment. And the meek will he teach his ways. I think it's a benefit there, huh? How about uh, Psalm 37, 11? But the meek shall what? Inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. If that don't motivate you, I don't know what, what will. Huh? Being me. That almost sounds like the, the, the Sermon on the Mount with Jesus. But here it says, the person is meek shall inherit the earth. And shall delight themselves in the abundance, abundance of peace. You know? How many of y'all want peace? <laughs> Psalms uh, 76 9. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth, uh, it sounds to me that there's some benefits in being meek. Huh? There's some benefits being submissive to the will of God. I ain't no man. If you've been submissive to man, man will simply lead you somewhere you didn't want to go. But I, I like what I say, oh, Jesse Platt just said, sin to take your father you want to go, keep you long, you want to stay in charge of more than what you want to pay. You go ahead and be a submissive to people, you're going to find out you're going to have to pay some prices. And just the prices you don't want to pay. And stay somewhere longer than you want to stay. All right? So it's always better to defeat me. Have you checked your fruit today? That's a reminder for the day. Work on being meek, submissive to God, and being humble to others. Don't be judgmental of other people because of their weaknesses, because of their shortcoming, because you had shortcoming. You had issues, and God been working with you. God has brought you a lot further than you, than you want to. Matter of fact, be thankful that he has brought you further. I like that old saying to say, I'm not what I used to be. Huh? I'm not what I want to be. I'm not what I used to be. But thank God that he's going to take me where I need to be. Just focus on that. I know I said it wrong. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the whole point is this. 
Have you checked your fruits today? Is this something you need to work on? When you see this video again, check that out again. Are you showing meekness? Hmm? Not weakness, but meekness. Be a man of God. Be a woman of God. But understand all your power, all your characteristics, and the fruits of the Spirit is manifest in you through Him. All right? All right. I hope you enjoyed that. And check your fruit today. Work on it. Cultivate it every day. I'm doing the same thing too. I'm glad I say I'm going to be a ride. We're definitely striving to the right place. Amen? All right. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you again. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.